Again, telephone call. Uh, Ahmed! Hey! How you doing? You doing okay? You doing that's everything all right? Yeah, we were lost in the metro forever. I think we spent like a couple of hours in the metro oh. going the wrong directions and waiting for ages. For yeah, well, right after you called me, I was only one stop from where you guys were at. And uh, Jay... I tried to call you, but then I didn't get you back when I... You know I why? You? Because I was underground and they don't have a cell phone transmitters. Yeah, yeah. And my batteries... Like, I left the house, I didn't have anything charged. But I have a, I have a battery pack. Now, anything you want to say out there to uh, viewers out there on live stream? This is Ahmed. Hello. How do you spell your last S? Ahmed Salah. Yeah, S A L A. -S. Right. And I uh, actually got somebody I want you to meet, so if you want to come with me, that would be really great. Right. Um, my friend Nancy is a uh, longtime national organizer for Code Pink. Oh, and she so maybe I have met her before. I met quite a few people of Code Pink in Cairo when we had the uh, trips to Gaza. Yeah. Oh. I'm so happy to be here, man. This is great. I got a good place to stay. Yeah. If you don't like where you're at, we can get you a hotel room. You know, we'll get you a place. That would be really great. <laughs> tomorrow, I'm not worried because tomorrow night I actually have a place. It's just like tonight and after that. Okay. You can actually, if you want, um, you can actually come over and stay with me where I'm staying at because there's not going to be anybody there. Everybody's at a party. So uh, you can stay at my house. Uh, Nancy. There we go. Nancy's a wonderful organizer. She's all over the world. Right. She's great. Ken, we're back. Wonderful theater director. Nancy, this is Ahmed. Nice to meet you. He's a. This guy here got some stories that'll make your hair curl. Let's tell you about what what all the all the all the adventures of an organizer in Tahrir Square. And yeah, he's the man. Uh, he's the guy that was directing a lot of the, a lot of the demonstrations, and and um, he had to leave because, uh, uh, you know, he was getting, uh, they they uh, they did a pretty good, they did a lot of uh, good work, yeah. you know. You on, we got a situation here that you should okay. cover. Okay. Right, we're gonna move. Sorry about that. Somebody getting. Altercation with the police looks like. Oh. If you are not, willing to take an arrest, please take room. So I try to take uh, a toast that we have to take our banners down. I don't know what's wrong with the New York City Police Department, but evidently they like to come out here and fuck around with occupiers. But we're out here covering it for you on live stream. Don't worry, Anna, I have nothing to worry about for me. How are you doing? Okay. All right. Great. I don't know if anybody's. So that's the situation here. Police have asked us to take the banner down, so I'm sure people will cooperate. And if not, although I really don't see any reason why people would not take down a small banner. Building 
can make it worse for themselves. Can we, can we get space back so we can make this back now? All right, we're going to move back here so people have room. So we're lowering the banner here and we're cooperating with the NYPD. It was a reasonable request. And this banner maybe could have fallen. There's a little bit of wind out here, but not much. So occupiers are cooperating. Watch your step there, sir. How you doing? All right. A little bit of solidarity there. And uh, to be sure, out there, viewers, this is not an aggressive action on the part of the New York Police Department. Uh, it was a reasonable request. And uh, so we're going to do our best to cooperate. I'm not real sure if this is a permit, permitted event or unpermitted. <laughs> oh yeah, they got tons of police down here, viewers. Yeah, like if you want to uh, chat or if you got any questions or anything. Please log on to Facebook or Twitter or Ustream and click on the social stream tab and you can send me a tweet and I'll be happy to uh, live stream broadcast. Sandra M, thanks a lot for watching. We appreciate it. If you have any questions or you would like to chat, feel free to do so and I'll do my best to answer any questions that you have out there. But I like this police officer I'm standing by. She looks like a nice, nice policeman. Please Tell me what a police state looks like. This is what a police state looks like. Tell me what a police state looks like. This is what a police state looks like. Tell them what a police state looks like. This is what a police state looks like. Tell them what a police state looks like. Tell them what a police state looks like. This is what a police state looks like. Tell them what a police state looks like. This is what a police state looks like. Tell them what a police state looks like. Anybody will be arrested. <laughs> Thank goodness.
You are constitutional liberty! Where does it say that innocent people will automatically get violent? These are non-violent protesters! These are non-violent protesters! So yeah, we have a little bit of a scene, but... Sing ho! Sing ho! Sing ho! Sing ho! How you doing? I've been watching your live streams for a long time. My name's Clark. Stop motion solo, right? Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Uh, they had to take this uh, banner down. Yeah. Well, it had BBC and somebody might get injured and so on and so forth. Well, it's a, it's a moot point. But it's best not to get into a confrontation right now. We'll save that for, for Monday. Free assembly! Without your limitations! Without your rule! Lots and lots of live streamers and reporters down here reporting out here from Washington Square Park in New York City, Manhattan, and the Lower East Side. If you're in the neighborhood, you're in New York, on uh, Manhattan, uh, it's at the West 4th uh, subway stop. You can come down here. It's a block away from Washington Square Park to the west. Uh, we welcome your participation. Please come down and join us. I'd uh, be happy, happy to show up. Show up and make a statement. Come join the party. Well, come join the party. What's your name, sir? They call me Captain Kirk. Occupy Orlando in the house. Are you from Orlando? Yes, sir. All right. My name's Freeman. Nice to meet you. I don't think we've officially met. No, it's the first time. I saw you over at the uh, the disabled caucus. Yeah, yeah. Right. Good. Good. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it seems kind of ridiculous to me, but you know. Right. I'm here for I'm here to I'm here to have a good time today, you know, I'm not interested in getting in any altercations with the police department, right? Yeah. I'll save that for Monday when we can make a real statement. No, when is that? Monday? Uh, where is it, where and when? I'm sorry? No. Well, I'll introduce you later. Okay. Okay, it's fine. That's fine. Oh, you don't want to broadcast because we might, it's going to be a surprise kind of thing? Okay. No problem. Element of surprise, okay? Alright. Thank you very much. Yay! Sig Heil. Anyway, the police are leaving. We got people power. People power versus police power votes. How are you, brother? It's not too bad, not too bad. Oh, wow. too. Like the way the cops look at Selma and stuff, and everybody looks at them. You know, like, why would you be defending that kind of stuff? That's you, 40 years later. You're on the wrong side. This was so peaceful, 
and yet you guys just had to yeah, throw it in. Eagles. They need to well, you gotta. Door. If you have all this budget for like all these guns and whatnot that you gotta throw into the peaceful march. Well, they have I mean, literally, there wasn't the tiniest violent action, and y'all just had to come in. You can't help yourselves, really. That's insane. You don't feel silly? You have community affairs written on your back. Why are you fucking with the community? This is a community. Part of the community. I would turn. To, are you turning your back on the community's questions? The community has a lot of questions for you guys. Like why you came into this park. It is so peaceful. So peaceful. And now we have to act like there was some sort of dangerous thing going on. With the piping. My friends, this is what a police fantasy. Well, I don't know if they're allowed to hold up. Yeah, well they're on the wrong the side. We're gonna win. Yeah. Way more dangerous than predator drones. Thank you. Thank you, police officers. Yeah, these are like, you realize you're on the cusp of silly with this. this is like, people have a hard time taking you guys seriously when you, like, have an actual situation. Especially around the United and States. And you mess with people. Right, people around the United I States look at the New York Police Department, the city, man. and they go, boo! Every direction you're looking. There's one right there. There's one there. There's that flagpole. It's conceivably piping. You understand that that's silly. A little good-natured heckling going on with the police department here. No, they gotta be insulted, but this is silly. We have a right to ask questions. We have a right to ask questions. Let's ask them questions. God damn Because they're chicken shit. Well, anyway, the situation looks like it's calmed down. Looks like it's calmed down a little bit. A little bit. Uh, it was a perfectly peaceful uh, demonstration. People are out here having a good time, and then all of a sudden, the uh, New York Police Department shows up, and you got to take your signs down, blah, blah, blah. blah. Goodbye. Congratulations. You should keep your stuff around. You're not a hero. You know, the whole world is watching you guys. Congratulations. You're not a hero. The world is watching Just a little, uh, I bet they just wanted to assert their authority over the situation, you know how policemen are. Unnecessary. Come on. Really? Like, you sure you don't want to, you sure you don't want to put the thing in the, uh, okay. We're all good. No, I was over here because my boy called me. He's like, yo, they're arresting some people. No, no, they weren't. I'm going to go back over here and rejoin my crew. I'll be running around here, so I'll... I'm not leaving for a long time, okay? Yeah. Um, come through later. I'll bring you in the menu. Okay. Okay. Because I think we're going to have some fun. You know what I'm saying? Great. Great. I'm up for doing the disabled one because, you know, I, I broke my leg like a couple of years ago, shattered it. I had to have reconstructive surgery and everything. And I'm just getting to the point now where I can walk again and stuff, right? That's why I came out here, you know. I wouldn't have taken a trip otherwise. I live in San Francisco. So, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm going to just mingle around. I'll be all running around here. I'm not leaving, okay? All right. All right. Oh, hey, what's up, Aaron? Fancy meeting you here. Mark. Hey, this is Oh, you're on live stream right now. This is this is the world famous, the world infamous Aaron K. Yippee Pie Man, Occupy. Uh, and I'm glad to see that he's here and walking around and healthy. Anything you want to say to our uh, live, our viewers out there? Well, listen. Take to the streets wherever you are. On 917. Take to the streets. Those bankers have to face rock and roll music. That don't mean classic rock or top 40. Real rock and roll. Yippie style rock and roll. They gotta face the end of their predatory career. The career.
I work in for the warrior, war mother, the career of pickpocketing poor people. The day of reckoning is here. All right, I agree with you. That's why we're out here, damn it. Tired of getting pushed around, unimpressed by the 1%. The banksters seem to walk away from their crimes. The gross American zeros. Right. That's just, they are, the gross American zeros. Just like done stealing 16 trillion, 16 trillion dollars from the American public. And the slimiest thing is for anybody to steal from somebody who's got nothing. Because as far as I'm concerned, anybody who does that is nothing. It will always be nothing. And they and their payback is coming. The day of reckoning is here. I agree. Sweet dude. Total agreement. So we're out here. All these brave occupiers are out here. And instead of having a PBC thing, we got people holding the sign up now. So that's people power. I mean, at least the cops did release the banner. Right. They oh, they could have been your assholes. No, no, no. But, so those basically is a, a compromise. You have the banner, and, and they let them walk out with the PVC. They could have been worse. But it was a moderate solution. Nobody got arrested. The PVC leaves, leaves the park on its own. And the banner was on it. But the thing is, hopefully they'll find some cardboard tubing by tomorrow. Yeah, well, it's not going to rain, that's for sure. we got beautiful weather out here in New York. For all you San Francisco weather snobs, it's just as beautiful here in New York as it ever gets in San Francisco. This, this so, weather feels like San Francisco right now. Yeah, it does. It's beautiful. Breeze. Beautiful day. I mean, it's the right kind of weather. And for those of you, you know, you want to wear a little, dress a little skimpy, it's still okay to dress a little skimpy. Nice and warm. You know, summer's end is coming soon, but we'll have any summer. So those of you who want to let the world let you booze or whatever, get a little fresh air, the time is still there. Good. Yeah, if you're in the New York area, uh, we encourage you to come down to Washington Square Park. It's easily accessible by the uh, A subway line. You get off at West 4th Street and walk over a block. Uh, there's plenty of restaurants and it's a wonderful area to come to and visit. Um, and Listen, as long as you don't go to Chick-fil-A. No, no, no. I, I, uh, I actually had a meal at a vegetarian restaurant up the street behind us. It was delicious. I mean, it was an awesome was meal. Was on 8th Street? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was awesome. They had these uh, no deep fried... Uh, I guess they call them pups or something, but it was like eating oysters. It tasted just like oysters, right? The thing is, Chick-fil-A doesn't deserve our money. I stay away from fast food, so... No, no, Chick-fil-A, who supports anti-gay organizations. Right. I would say, what I say about Chick-fil-A is maybe a little crazy because they will do the job. <laughs> you know what I mean? Agreed, I know what you mean. You didn't hear it from me, but yes. I'm not saying what you would pray to do. You out to your imagination. A little bit of... I'm not telling you what to do with it, but it's not illegal to have it in your pocket. A little bit of personal direct action. Yes. Be creative. So I have a question for you. Um, after this is like kind of like dies down, um, I'm going to go over to the Yippie Cafe if you want to meet back there like... At like nine o'clock, I guess maybe. Well, uh, I'm gonna regroup back there. So, anyway. So just to let you know. Yeah, it's at Nine Bleecker Street. Yeah. Uh, I'm staying out in, uh, with my friend Zen out in Brooklyn. What part of Brooklyn? Uh, Kensington. I'm on the other side. The red star. How you getting there? Uh, subway. No, because um, this station has an elevator, and also the. Um, the station I get off in Brooklyn has an elevator too that works. Yeah, so I'm good. Yeah, um, I was going to stay at like 109th Street, but at this place I had reserved, but the lady was late, and I had my friends, and I'd rather give them the the money I was going to spend on a hotel room. And they have a little baby, and you know, and they could use every penny, and it was a wonderful place to stay. 
wonderful people I'm staying with. Actually, they left. They went out to a rave in uh, Allentown. So now I have this whole apartment to myself while I'm here in New York, which is great. But you know. It's better you give them money for better to support somebody who's got a baby. Right. Because the baby can use the money. Oh, they have such a beautiful child. Baby food. Baby I'm like food, so jealous. Diapers, you know, whatever. Well, I'm not jealous, but I'm really happy for them that they have uh, such a beautiful child and it's healthy and somebody I've known for many years and they're Both such a babies. wonderful baby's two months old still an infant a boy. it's a girl beautiful child just gorgeous and there's a few babies down here uh, this is not a uh, was intended to be any kind of action where people were supposed to be arrested by the way and if you don't want to get arrested you don't have to I know a lot of people are have their reservations about attending Occupy events, yeah. but uh, we will watch out for you and watch your back as There's much as people, possible. Some people can't really get arrested because of their jobs. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to because I'm from out of town and I don't want to have to fly back to New York and and fight a case. Yeah, you know, okay. my lawyer knows I'm here and I have a bail bondsman and everything. But you know, and by the way, I did I did uh, hold on a second. Organizer, How you doing? What's your name, sir? Gary. 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 Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Nice to meet you out here. Anything you want to say to my viewers out here on the live stream? We're still here. We didn't go anywhere. And uh, stay tuned for more. The best is yet to come. So what do you think? Uh, what do you think is going to come up? Uh, what, what kind of events? Uh, uh, what are you? What are you going to make a special point to participate in? Well, I, I was involved with the silk screening crew, so I'm back in touch with them, and I'm one of the regulars again, even though I've been away for six months. But uh, we'll see what the organizing this week does, and uh, hit the ground running. Yes. Yeah. Listen, you know, uh, the race has been active in the animal rights. Where is that? In New Ra York? In New Rachel. York? Yeah, Rachel. She's in New York. So far, I have... I had such a great time live streaming. Oh yeah, many, many years. No, no, none of that. Right. I uh, went to Governor's Island a couple weeks ago. They had oh, definitely. Photo exhibit. Did you hear about 41 it? 41 years. It was about I've been out pictures. demonstrating since. One picture right in the middle. By my first, uh, of you I my saw. first direct action was in 1971. Um, in school, I was one of the yeah. AV geeks, it was an evening. and I shut off the intercom system during the Pledge of Allegiance. Right, I didn't, at the time, I didn't really realize what I was doing so much. But I knew that what the United States was involved in was wrong. Like I knew that in my heart. So we turned off the intercom system all over the school. And then after that, I was a marked man forever in school forever and ever as being a, uh, a rebel and a revolutionary and always getting into trouble for, for questioning authority and defying authority. And uh, I guess it's continued on to this day, 41 years later. And what's your name, hon? Anything you want to say out to the, my audience out there? Most of the people are back in San Francisco. Uh, I, I, wish I called him Vince Bart that he was busy watching that. a football game. Because it's nice yeah, to live in a city. Sure, aren't we all? Yeah, well, Occupy Movement has actually given me a lot of hope because uh, uh, I thought activism was dead in this country for a number of years. Um, myself, personally, I got more and more involved with the medical cannabis movement. And that's where I, my activism was directed at up until Occupy started happening and then I decided to get back into mainstream organizing again and after working with cannabis patients for so long. So uh, that's basically what's going on with me right now. Well I believe it should be legalized but what people don't realize is that uh, medical cannabis is is one of the most effective medicines that's out there. I mean, there's there's known to be um, anti-cancer 
anti-inflammatory for people that have a rheumatoid arthritis, people that have Parkinson's disease, people that have multiple sclerosis, people that have AIDS. Uh, the list of uh, ailments are, long, are tremendously long. And uh, I'm going to admit this to you out here. Uh, somebody never said to the San Francisco occupiers and other people that are watching that after I broke my leg, I was diagnosed as having leukemia. And the leukemia was what caused my leg to fracture. And when I went and talked to doctors in the hospital, they looked at my medical history and they say, well, Mr. Sullivan, uh, there's, uh, we noticed that you've been a regular cannabis user for the last 40 years. They said, keep it up. They said, that's the reason why you're in remission right now. And uh, yeah, they, evidently I had leukemia for about six months and I wasn't aware of it. And I knew I wasn't feeling good. But I didn't, you know, I, I hate doctors, and it was really hard for me to go in to see a doctor. And uh, when I finally broke my leg, I was forced into medical care, literally. And uh, they did my blood work, and they told me, they said, yeah, you had uh, leukemia, you're in remission. And uh, evidently it was from your, because uh, 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 the medical profession out in San Francisco is a little, they know, you know, they are aware of medical cannabis, they will. Uh, California is just a different different kind of a place where we would be here at this Occupy. I spent a lot of my time at Occupy rolling big fatties and smoking them and blowing the smoke right in the face of the police department. And uh, But you can't do that in New York. <laughs> no, you can't. No, San Francisco you can, but... San Francisco, they're probably laughing at you. Right. Probably say, please take it away. Yeah, or well, that or they'll smoke it themselves when they get off duty. So, uh, do them say, please take it away. Right. And you do it. No point. Getting into it, but not here. And no, here, but by fact, you're here. Over half the cops at least at least tried it. Oh yeah, well, I get stomped. If I lit up a joint right now, I know I'd be stomped. So yeah, but I've been pre I'm prepared. You know, and, and the problem is I used this for the first time. Oh great, that looks nice. Looks nice. Yeah, if you um. If you want to send it to me, um, let me give you. I don't have a pen on me at the moment, but um, let me give you my email address and and uh, for those of you online uh, that would like to email me, my email address is freemansullivan at gmail .com, or you can tweet me at freemansullivan, or you can just do a Google search, and all the websites that I develop and all the other things that I'm doing will come up for you, and that's freemansullivan. F R E E M A N S U L L I V A N at gmail.com. Free Man Sullivan. I'm sorry? Gmail. Gmail, yes, ma'am. Absolutely beautiful out here. That's over. Did you think the picture means with Facebook or in the flag? Yeah, I haven't seen that one yet. I'll have to check it out. I had that for my icon too. I used to uh, do a lot of flag burning in my my glory days. I've been attacked before. I once I was burning a Bible, and people thought I was being real sacrilegious, and they tried to attack me. But I'm a little swifter than that, and knew they were coming, and you know whatnot. And it wasn't that I disrespect the Bible, but I was trying to prove a point. Uh, could you uh, could you give me one of those Bradley Manning stickers, please? Talk about it. What is off the record? Just a second, viewers. Yeah. How's everybody doing? We're going around. I'm looking for my friend Ahmed.
Oh yeah? Yeah, where did he where did he wander off to? Uh, I don't know. I was talking with her a few nights ago, but I did not I got interrupted by Nancy and and the police thing. Yeah, I'm just wondering. He's uh, if you're doing any press or anything, he's like, he's got an op-ed piece today or tomorrow. It's going to be in the uh, Washington Post for uh, about Egypt. He's very. He's one of the. Uh, he's actually one of the revolutionary leaders there. Directed to Rear Square and 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 planned for many many years. What's his name? Ahmed Salah. Uh, A H M E D S A L H. That's S A L E H. Right. Just do a. Uh, you can Google him, he'll come up. And uh, he's, he's the real deal. Okay. Like, you know, a lot of people are organizers and whatnot, but Ahmed has literally been beaten to an inch of his life. Did some time in Egyptian prison. And, and when he's so young. Yeah. And he's got a wonderful, wonderful story of courage and survival. And, and the fact that he was an inspiration to people like me who are organizers. And here in the United States, we do face political oppression, but nothing anywhere close to what people faced in Egypt. You know, one of the guys that I've been hanging with in a group called Occupy Evolve is uh, a guy named Shen Tong, who has a very similar role with the Tiananmen Square movement uh, back in 1989. And he wrote a book about that time and, and his experiences in Beijing. He'd be another interesting person. He should be around. I mean, I know on the on Monday he'll certainly be around, probably with the Occupy Evolve group. I see okay. him. Yeah, point him out to me. Yes, I'd be more than happy to speak with him. You know, I'm I'm trying to make this a great experience for people that are watching the live stream. You know, and uh, are you live streaming right? on a particular channel? Yeah, it's um, it's ustre. dot am slash capital N little u capital or capital N little h little u capital D. Okay, well, so it's like we have to start again. U okay, ustr. E dot am if you want to repeal, if you want to repeal slash national defense capital N authorization act little h and make sure that's capital H okay. information little u little h little u capital D and that's the short URL and that's where I where I live stream from so check it out you know um, all of my uh, live streams are archived. So uh, I for the last uh, three to four months, and they're archived on YouTube at Freeman Sullivan. So just check them out, so you can see some stuff. Are you, are you, uh, are you streaming from uh, from Oakland during the activity? Uh, yes, I have been. Oakland and San Francisco. And we're, we have a very yeah. Well, Oakland police suck. I'll tell you this is not a police That's what I hear. Right, I'm gonna keep it nice to meet you, Ken. I'll see you around. Alright, I'll be around. I'm not leaving for a while. Got a nice crowd here today. There's at least a couple of thousand activists down here in Washington Square Park. Now, of course, we got the police following us every step of the way. I see the. Yeah, well. 
I'm careful. I've been doing this for 41 years, so. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so sorry. sorry, sir. It's okay, don't worry about it. And you get a national level, like, true voter blog issue where it's just like, you know, what are the specialists? Yeah, it's a little proto march. We're not out in the streets yet. I'm going to back off here a little bit so you guys can watch. All these great people with all their great signs and flags. It's wonderful. Release Bradley Manning. I'm 100% with that. Inspiration for us, the true American hero. Mr. Flores, right here. <laughs> but people are moving around a little bit. Lots of energy here in New York today. Lots of militancy. It's really important. Oh, we have Tractor 5 that's been out here. I don't know how I missed this. Stop racist, stop and frisk. It's really a problem here in New York City, uh, especially with marijuana. And people of color are constantly getting stopped by the police and arrested for using medical cannabis, um, which is an issue, as you guys know, that's near and dear to my heart. Anyway, there you go, folks. Oh, <laughs> 
little entertainment for you viewers. Thanks so much for watching and supporting me while I'm here in New York City. We appreciate your support and your love. I send you my love from out here in San, uh, New York to San Francisco and all points beyond. Beautiful day here in New York City. We'll be here uh, live streaming from Washington Square Park until at least 7 or 8 o'clock this evening. So do stay uh, logged on. Uh, log on to Twitter, Facebook, or Ustream if you would like to chat with me. Um, I'm out here, like I said, until 8 p.m. As long as my battery holds up. DC was the last to get! <laughs> all kinds of shocky pie all over the place. End the war now. Stop voter suppression. Thank you.